The Trump re-election campaign scrambling to figure out what's next. This after President Trump's surprise cancellation of Jacksonville's Republican National Convention last night. Capitol reporter Forrest Saunders finds out what happens after Florida's COVID-19 case surge prompted that change. We won't do a big crowded convention per se. It's just not the right time for that. With the big event a bust, President Trump's campaign staff now focusing on COVID-19 safety. Members trying to change the RNC message from full steam ahead earlier this week. America wasn't built by people who hide. To the president calling for cancellation after consulting experts. The president saw all the data, talked to the folks and said, we're not going to do that. I want to make sure the American people are safe. Campaign's press secretary also saying the decision isn't a reflection on state leadership. The governor, Ron DeSantis, still has the president's backing despite losing the event as Florida's COVID cases and deaths rise. It's not a referendum on that. It's a, it's a referendum on the virus. Uh, it's unforeseen, unprecedented. Florida's Democrats aren't so sure. Ag Commissioner Nikki Freed taking aim at DeSantis, saying the state could have handled things like the RNC with better leadership. If we had done what was right, if we had, in fact, um, shut down when we were supposed to, reopened later, uh, we really would have had an opportunity to have beaten this virus. And then there are those hoping something like the convention could still happen. I just don't think it's a good idea to cancel. State Rep Anthony Sabatini hoping for something like an RNC event before November. Florida, he feels, is ready. The GOP in need of the momentum boost. It's the silent majority. It's a lot of people who are really excited, but we need uh, an event to basically channel that strength and that excitement. At the Capitol, Forrest Saunders, ABC Action News.